Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria for meeting for the first time. Welcome and for those of you guys that are old friends and family, welcome back. So we're going to be talking about the week ahead and there is a lot of energy in the charts that is confronting. Even as I say that now, and for those of you guys that don't know, I'm always channeling. It's just on. It's just on. So I'm just going to dive completely right in. But as I say that this is going to be a week of, of con con uh, confrontation, Spirit is bringing up the word rationale. And it's interesting. I'm going to um, look into the meaning of that word real quick. But rationale, the first thing that comes to my mind is how we rational, like we make an excuse or how we try to explain certain things. So specifically, I believe that spirit is wanting to confront the parts of you that make excuses for others, for the situation, for yourself, and to move past that, to move beyond that. So that's actually a lot to get slapped with in under a minute of starting this video, but also if you're brand new, this is what you can sometimes expect is a lot of confrontation in my, in my not confrontation in a bad way, but to be to be guided to see certain things and that is what I feel like spirit is leading us into right now. So let me pull up the meaning of the word rationale right now as I'm talking to you guys, but also keep in mind for those of you guys that don't know that spirit will give me a word that I've heard a million times before in my life or maybe I've never heard of it. Um, but then when I look up the word, this, the definition has layers to it. So yeah, rationale here means based on or in accordance with reason or logic, a rational number. So basically this is what you feel. This week is gonna be about confronting what you feel is radical, rational, what is logical, what makes sense to you. And for some of you guys, this week is going to confront certain patterns, certain things that we do that self-sabotage that set us back. So go ahead and, and put a pin in that energy for this week because we're going to start seeing that. Now let me go ahead and dive into one of the more significant transits that we're going to be experiencing or astrological events that we're going to be experiencing this week and that is going to be the new moon occurring in the sign of Cancer. Now Cancer is always known as this highly nurturing leader that is pulled from a place of the heart. Anything that cancer energy is rallying for or feels called to to go to pursue It's there because it it is worth whatever that thing is or whatever that person is. It's worth it to the cancer energy to create a safe space within that or to nurture it to give it to give it life to pour into it to help it to thrive now this could be a relationship this could be an aspect within yourself this could be a goal or a dream that is that you have really specifically it's going to be different for everyone depending on what cancer rules within your chart so if i were you i would use a website for me personally i love astro.com it's free i do think you have to create a login but they don't sponsor this video, although I wish that they did. I've been saying that for years. But um, look on astro.com, put in your, your date of birth information, and look for the cancer symbol. I'll link it in this video so you can see it. And that part of your chart that rules that house and where that new moon falls in, this is where you're going to see this need to kind of protect or to maybe not protect, but begin to see, observe something new that needs to be applied to this next season in your life. Let me deviate away from astrology for just a second and give you guys this little bone broth to really sip on, this spiritual bone broth. And we are in a season right now, every single one of us, where we are being called to really complete a major cycle within our life. This comes after a period of excessive effort on your part or certain events that don't necessarily need to be traumatic, although they can be, but they're very revealing. And this happens throughout just being a human being on earth. We're always having to live and learn through our experience. There's actually a video that I shared recently about leaning into our wisdom and what that looks like and not judging ourselves because of our experiences that we have to live through. 
So I'll link that down below so that you guys can listen, listen to that and gain wisdom from that. But specifically, there is a, a, a series of lessons and experiences that are trying to, attempting to teach you this great lesson in your life that will change you forever. It will change the direction. It will change why your reason for why you're doing something. It will change how you identify, how you see yourself, how you see other people in the best way possible. So keep your mind and your hearts open. There's been a huge, a huge marking spiritually that I've been sensing that every single one of us is needing to change and to pivot in a great way. And that can be very difficult to sit with, but for some of us it can be exciting because we get this sense of, wow, things are about to change, this is exactly what it is that I want. For others, it can be really tough. So just know, keep that in mind, that that's the energy that we've been dealing with. Now, at the time of the new moon, diving back into astrology, at the time of the new moon, this the sun and the moon are directly opposing Pluto. Pluto is sitting in the sign of Capricorn, now retrograde. Pluto rules death, transformation, regeneration. So what this is doing is it's confronting the, the part of you that you have to see and observe or the part of the situation or the part of this lesson within your life. For everyone, again, it's different. That needs to be, you need to break free from. This will be so confronting. It will be so conflicting. It will leave you feel like you're crippled walking out of it, like you're not walking up straight, that what you thought something was, it's not. It will have you seeing yourself from a new lens. This can create a huge break in a, a certain pattern that can be, I don't want to say traumatic, but can be very stunning, meaning like it stuns you, it stuns your energy, it might catch you off guard. For some of you guys, also remember that cancer moves from the heart but and moves from a space of, of deep love, but it also is very self-protective and can be very defensive. So when Pluto energy activates this new moon, do, do know that there might be something that triggers you, that makes you feel defensive and retreat back into old habits, old mindsets, old ways of reacting to something. And this is where you have to pull back into your heart space again and say, this is how, this is why I have, to, this is why I feel like I need to react in this way. This is why I feel like I need to call this off. This is why I feel like I need to do this. But is it coming from a place of honoring my heart and honoring my path and honoring my soul and honoring the divine and where I'm being called? Or is it me falling back into old defense mechanisms, old past wounds, old comfort zones? And I say that because there's a lot of planets right now. We have Neptune, Saturn, Pluto, all retrograde. It's really quick and easy for you to fall back into or to revert back into or to find your way back to places or people that are comfortable to you but have been toxic or draining or not the space for you. This could be great like relationships, this could be big like expectations, or it could be procrastination, how you procrastinate from doing certain things, how you make, again, excuses. Uh, as I'm saying that, the divine is bringing up the word rationale again. It's your rationale, it's how you explain yourself out of certain things is going to reveal to you a certain level of truth that you now need to fight past and you need to fight beyond. That is the most difficult aspect of this new moon in Cancer. The positive or the lighter aspect is this is an opportunity for you to open up the door or begin to move in a pattern in a way in your life that is more nurturing, healing, and thriving for you. Sometimes to do that, you're going to have to break, break away from old habits and patterns that, again, were your crutch but have crippled you in some way because from what I'm looking at at the charts and the energy that I've been picking up and sensing lately is that there's this major cycle, this huge cycle. For some of you guys, it's as big as generational or these generational patterns. There's something major significant that is you are being forced to confront, to face, to see, to observe. It doesn't have to be bad, meaning like it doesn't have to be like, wow, I really sabotage myself in this way. It could be you be really acknowledge, acknowledging and seeing for the first time, this is something that is so important to me. And I, I want this, I need this, and this is why I didn't even allow myself to see it or to 
be honest with myself because to see it means that I this is what I actually want and this is what I have to do and this in order to help this to happen or I'll have to lean into my faith there's something about being called from the heart space wanting to that same space that you want to protect it you want to secure it you want to stabilize it and and that is all well and good but not the divine is very clear in saying that there's certain things that when it's time for you to move past and beyond so that you can do what we can do and move from a greater space then we need to honor that sorry guys my head wrap is starting to kind of trickle down a little bit um probably because i didn't tie it tight the other thing that i want to talk to you guys about is this week on the 20th the sun is going to be trying neptune neptune is currently retrograde Neptune has been transiting, if you hear any snoring, it's Franklin on the sofa right now. Neptune has been transiting through the sign of Pisces, and this could create the element of illusion and fantasy, but it, it can also heighten your intuition. So this is already telling us that we can't necessarily rely on our logic and our mind and our rationale to, in order to create facts. Some things move beyond facts and we just have to trust. So when this energy is retrograde, when Neptune is retrograde in the sign of Pisces, we don't get to hide behind this illusion, oh, this is who I am. Sometimes we tell, we can tell others or convince ourselves or convince the world, this is who I am, but who are you really? This really pulls back the veil of the situation, of yourself, of your, of your job, of how you're taking care of yourself, of your relation, did I say really? I'm like a broken record late, lately, sorry guys, and if you can't tell, I'm kind of recovering from a chest, um, a chest thing, so. I've been very, I mean, lately I guess my energy has been delayed in most things. Um, I'm being really called to kind of take my time, so I'm still honoring that. So if you guys hear the nasal and the chest energy, then that's, that's definitely there. And it's also making me like, whoop, a little loopy. But uh, back to what I was saying, so Sun Trine Neptune retrograde. Also on the same day, um, Mars is directly opposing Saturn. Saturn is now also retrograde, also in the sign of Pisces. <laughs> this is so confronting. This is very, like, fight or flight. This is either you run away or you want to fight. That can be, for many of you guys, that can be an automatic um, trigger response, how you handle the situation. Why? Mars is striving for some level of perfection in as it's transiting through the sign of Virgo. It's trying to analyze, it's trying to process, it's trying to make sense of something while Saturn is now bringing up past issues, karma, lessons of the past in the sign of Neptune. Things that it is that is hard for us to see, to confront, to, to sit with, to vibe with. Now our intuition is leading every single one of us and saying that this is for you or this is not for you. Trust where where I'm leading you. Trust what you sense. Trust the vibe of this. Your vibes never lie. But your rationale wants to either look for evidence, look for proof, or find an explanation there. And or to because you feel like you have something to prove or maybe you're moving from your ego because you might be in a place where you're defensive, it's hard for you to really let your intuition kind of leads you and guides you and to trust that or even to surrender and dive deeper into your feminine energy and allow magic and mystery to unfold. So this, this can you already see how confronting this can be? Maybe this is not exclusively you. This might also be someone that you're dealing with because keep in mind that we are all under the same umbrella in the sky. This is, um, so we're all being impacted by the same, these same transits. So let's say you are asking someone for an explanation. Why do you do this? You say that you want this and you say that this is what we're going. But now when you're presented with the opportunity, you completely sabotage it, backtrack, throw it aside, and you defy something that could be healing for you by reverting back to the same thing that has crippled you and held you in a toxic grasp for too long. What is your rationale for that? What is your reason behind that? Do you allow yourself to see, or does this person allow themselves to see the problem? Or do they revert back to the same excuses, the same thing, and go back to those same patterns? Every single one of us has the opportunity to choose according to their own free will. I'm setting the intention that every single one of us here, if you're watching this video, that you trust where the divine is leading you, where you trust where your intuition is leading you, 
where you honor yourself and you give yourself a lot of grace and patience as you're healing and through this evolution and through this transformation because you do deserve it. Give yourself rest as needed, but continue to take those baby steps because those baby steps are breaking huge patterns, huge patterns within your life. Some of them are as great as generational. I also want to bring in the fact that the part of fortune is sitting in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is the things that we must let go of. We must let them go. This could be a relationship that is toxic, that has gone on for too long. There's a, um, either addiction or codependency or manipulation or um, lust. It, there's things within us that we crave and it's time for us to let it go. Scorpio naturally actually rules our genitalia and it rules our bowels. So when we release, when we let go, which is what Scorpio rules here, we allow ourselves to be completely light after that. If not, it, it builds up, it holds up in the body and it's not good for our mind, body, soul, spirit. So the part of fortune sitting in the sign of Scorpio says, please release, please surrender, please let this go. That way you can have freedom, maybe even for the first time in your life. This energy is actually directly opposing, being opposed by the North Node, who now, sorry, let me move my chart, who now, I wanna make sure that I'm getting this right because it's right towards the very end, and I've been pulling charts forever, is in the sign of Aries, moving into the sign of Taurus. And this means that this is our last, even Chiron here has been transiting through the sign of Aries. This is your last effort to shine a light on yourself. And that can be liberating. Aries is all about liberation, taking those first steps, start launching yourself out into this new chapter, new territory, being bold, courageous, doing it regardless of the fear, doing it regardless of the ego, showing up saying, listen, I'm listening, I'm here, I'm ready, I'm present, I'm taking notes or I'm leading. So with Chiron and in the, in the North Node, it says, listen, you got to do this so that you can then stabilize because this is your last effort. This is your last chance. This is a, la um, a last moment and a major moment within your life where you can really look at yourself and say, this is how I hold myself back by lingering in spaces where I should have been expelling myself away from or releasing myself away from. There's certain patterns and habits that I feel like I need, but honestly, they, it's, it's, been, it's not been good for me. It's been holding me captive. Or if there's other people that are choosing that path, this is where you say, I need to break away, I need to break free from you because you are choosing this life. You are choosing this this um, path. You are choosing this lifestyle. You're choosing this habits. You're, you're not, you're actively not trying to do better. Now the vertex point and is sitting in the sign of Gemini all this week and the Chi and Chiron is sextile the vertex. The vertex point is a point of faded encounters. So it's really asking you to look at the double sides within yourself. It's really asking you to listen to what people are saying not and then watch their actions watch how they follow through it's one thing to say i can do this i'm going to do this i'm doing this are you actually doing it are you actually showing up so these are energies that are saying like the new moon ignites it in a in a, in a way that says listen you got to look at it sun opposite opposing pluto retrograde is revealing it Neptune retrograde and Pisces is also revealing it. Saturn retrograde and Pisces is breaking it down. Pluto retrograde and Capricorn now just exited out of Aquarius back to the sign of Capricorn is working to rebuild it by looking at the parts that are sick, wounded, and starting to surgically remove them out of your life. So this is all of this is I know can be a lot, but it's actually think about someone who I know someone specifically right now who has been going through cancer, cancer treatments and radiation in order to help heal her body. And the facing that is difficult. Facing that is exhausting. Facing that is overwhelming. But it's the baby steps that she's taking to, to, to make her way through these treatments while the doctors, the professionals are working on her and, and, and giving doing what they need to do on their end. Meanwhile, while she goes home, she's taking care of her body, she's cooking, she's resting, she's going for walks. 
it's a combination of a lot of active participants showing up with the intention to heal, to make her better, and to get rid of something that has been toxic that needs to be removed. How does this, uh, the fact that she's going through that is a perfect epitome of what's going on within these charts. It's choosing people who want the same intention for you, choosing people who don't say that they can do it, but they actually have the capacity to do it. They're showing up as professionals to do it. You're showing up and taking care of yourself. And all of that, even though it can be overwhelming, it's it's good, it's beneficial. And if you continue to move forward, you will see the benefit, you'll receive the benefit of it. But there are certain parts of us that need to absolutely be expelled. I wanna say too, that on the 22nd, and this is a lot going on here, the 22nd, um, Mercury trying, it's interesting that I'm even starting off with this because I was going to start off talking about Venus retrograde, which is also on the 22nd, but Mercury is going to be trying Chiron, and this is an opportunity to really, I really want you guys to mark in your calendars the 22nd. You can use this time for journaling, for conversation, for communication that can be deeply cathartic and healing to you. It's going to feel so needed. So to use this day, if you need to take a day off from work or if you need to, um, Take a break from the world, go to the ocean, go for a walk in the earth, go for a walk, connect with earth energy, sit in the sun, bask in the sun. Mercury is transiting through the sign of Leo, so that's a wonderful way of receiving downloads is through the energy of the sun. Really allow yourself to absorb the nutrients, the light that is going to be poured into you um, from this, con this contact of Chiron, again, through the sign of Aries and Mercury. This is going to be an opportunity for you to heal, for you to come to terms with certain things. Even for some of you guys, you're looking for closure because there's this energy of wanting to go pat, go and go, go to the past. For some of you guys, you don't need to get that closure for someone else. There's this meme that says, you know, the disrespect is the closure enough being disrespected or being treated a certain way is all you need to know that this is not for me. I don't need to understand where it is that it's coming from. I just need to know. I, all I need to know is that the, this is not the vibe. This is not the energy. I don't deserve this. Some of you guys have been showing up as healers and really being advocates for other because for others with the sun currently transiting through the sign of cancer, it, it, you're advocating for people from a space of the heart but this is where you disconnect. Just like cancer rules the energy of the mother, this is when the mother and the umbilical cord, they get separated. This is when you say, listen, I cannot continue to give you my nutrients, my life, my energy, when you're just kind of taking this and, and not doing with it what you will, or maybe you even have expectations for the relationship that, or this connection or this thing or this career or this job that simply is just too high. It's you're asking for too much. That's not to say that you don't deserve more or that you're wrong for wanting more. It's just that you're not gonna find more there. It's going to only go so far. So this is where you cut that cord and you say, it was my desire to fight it for you. It was my desire to work on this. It was, this is what it is that I was hoping for and wanting from this relationship. But now that I see it and now that I'm hearing it and now that I need to accept this for what it is. It's gonna be so free and so liberating for me to put that energy where it is that it actually belongs. And from that space, you will see it grow. You will see it grow. Um, having said that, the sun is gonna enter into the sign of Leo. <laughs> this is gonna be on the 22nd. Also, uh, uh, Venus ruling our relationships, love, how we spend money, what we find valuable is gonna go retrograde. This is the time for you, honestly. Don't worry about Venus retrograde. Yes, it can test our relationships and Spending can go can skyrocket. Um, things can get really wonky and weird when it comes to uh, connections, how we feel about ourselves, self worth, self value. But as the sun is entering in the sign of Leo, there's this heightened energy of it's time for you to party, it's time for you to relax, it's time for you to do activities and things that bring you joy, it's time for you to have fun. And that doesn't mean that you rage, you go to clubs, you party, you wear, it, it doesn't need to be that way. It could be something as simple as you deciding, listen, glitter is my vibe right today and I'm gonna put glitter all over my body and I'm gonna wear sequins and I'm gonna wear bright colors or I'm gonna wear gold. These are things that literally will give you life. As you watch the sun transiting, this is where you will also find new ways to revitalize your energy to feel uplifted, to feel bright, to feel happy, to give back to yourself. So watch the energy of Leo. For some of you guys too, like forgive me, 
you're going to watch certain people who, again, are not trying to confront um, certain things. They might go and party. They might go seeking friendships and validation elsewhere. Let them do that. Honestly, the sun is bright, but the sun burns. And this energy right here, you can use it for medicine. You can use it for healing. And some will take it and off balance and from an off balance uh, off balance place or even move from the ego set their whole selves on fire and that's another thing too like there's no all good or all bad with these transits with astrology it is what it is the sun absolutely has the potential to be something that is cathartic and healing and warming of the body and good for the body but the sun also will burn and usually it comes from a place of the ego. I'm going to these places because these are the places that feed my ego, AKA they speak to the shadow aspect of myself that I refuse to confront. So let them burn if that's what they choose to do. Just don't be one of those that burns with it. Now on the 23rd, Chiron is retrograde. So this is where this energy of going back within yourself starts to retrace its, retrace its steps. For some people, again, people are gonna be looking for your validation or looking for your attention. They want to pull attention because they're coming from a place that is empty within. Also, don't let that be you. Find new places to speak into, to heal the inner wound child, to reach out. And also the 22nd is an amazing time to find a therapist, to find an amazing um, healer or conversation, or to take it seriously so that the, the conversations that you're having are cathartic and opening up portals and doors within yourself so that you can see yourself and again, this is going to be a new season, a new cycle of being healed in a lot of ways, mind, body, soul, and spirit. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I did my, <laughs> I hope that this really gave you everything. My, it's really exhausting for me to talk right now. I wasn't expecting to get sick. I think it was um, Costa Rica or maybe the Key West because I did both of those trips and I had to have picked up something. Um, so I, I, I have slowed down. Um, so thank you guys again for being so patient with me. I have a lot of help right now. Um, shout out to my aunt and my baby cousin who is not a baby. He's a grown ass man. But I literally had him in my arms when he was born. And I just can't believe that he's just so grown. Like, oh my God, he's so grown. But he's been helping for some of you guys as you're... Uh, working, getting your orders from the apothecary, the, the bubble wrap is not going to be as precise as if I was to do it. It's because I'm, I'm not the one who's doing it. Uh, so it's not going to be perfect. I actually got an email where someone is like, the label's crooked. And I'm just like, you know, everyone's trying their best. Like, try not to get um, too stuck on those tiny details. I just know that it's crooked because it was literally done from a space of love. There's a lot of love flowing around the apothecary space these days. I have learned so much about my process. I'm so serious. I take so much responsibility when it comes to my work and my magic that I've learned how important it is for me to actually allow people who love me to participate in what it is that I'm doing because the love that they are putting in is so good for me, but also you guys when you order because you're receiving that. There is so much love and good energy. We have reggae music going, we're talking. It's so, it, we're speaking life into each other, into my baby cousin too, and his life goals and his plans, and there's a lot of laughter. So is it perfect because it's not the packaging, meaning like how it's wrapped is not coming directly from me? No, but the intention is, it to me, it's even amplified because it's my my family and the good energy around us and all those different personalities coming together my aunt and my baby cousin specifically and me working together in order to do something and to share and it's just yeah I just I also wanted to share that with you guys to be you know you guys know I typically don't really talk about myself and my own experiences but that's something too that's been personally on my end it's been giving me a lot of life and a lot of love lately it's a new chapter and season in my life of spending more time with family and slowing things down. And that's also what I manifested and have been manifesting. And it's been great. 
it's been absolutely great. And you guys are picking up on it. You're just saying, Jess, you're glowing, you're glowing. And it's because I am. Um, it's coming from a lot of different places. It's coming from everything that is that I've manifested. So, and also I had to look at myself for, oh, so if you think that you're in this by yourself, or you're just like, oh my God, this is so intense. And I feel like I'm being confronted. Girl, me too. I've had to even confront why I feel like I should be the only one to do everything, to wrap, to pack, to, you know, to create, to set intention. And I, I admire my, I admire my ambition and my desire to be of service to help so many, but I'm also, am trusting the divine and being like, Jess, family is good. Go back, to, go back home, go to the home. And I'm also seeing it within the charts and seeing it within your own experiences. Every single one of us is coming back home and I love that we're coming back home together and that we have each other. So thank you again for honoring me in this season in my life. There's plenty more things that I'll be sharing with you in the near future. Um, it is a great honor. I never overlook that. I always, even when I do Bahati love notes, I always tell everybody on that group, like, guys, thank you. Like, every time, because the gratitude is the first thing that is that I feel. Like, thank you. It's just such a blessing. But I'm a little long-winded, and wind is needing to be conserved, aka the energy of the lungs needs to be conserved. I'm sending you guys all of my love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm really excited. Um, I'm really excited to do the next video for you guys and to talk. Also, I've been channeling like crazy lately. Um, so I'll be sharing those videos too, but everything in time, obviously, clearly. So thank you again so much for hanging out with me. If you are not subscribed to this YouTube channel, the invitation is there. However, don't feel obligated. If you're grabbing this message and passing on, literally, I, I, I wish that you are healthy. I'm setting the intention that you have peace. I'm setting the intention for joy and laughter to reach you. I'm setting the intention for courage and strength to be all around you and within you. Um, do you hear Franklin? He's snoring. So aggressively right now. All right, my guy, my, my loves, I'll see you in my next video. I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.